So you as the audience are in quite the rare position for once because you know what I'm about to unbox and I don't. Robin here, my cameraman, has sourced something or other and I have the privilege of unboxing whatever it is and you'll see my actual first impressions from the very beginning. So let's go. The audience can see first. Okay, okay. It is an LED projector in a very exciting box. Wow. I will say, although it is rather bland, it's a fairly unique color scheme at least. I don't often see a bright yellow and a bright white clashing against each other. It's obviously reflecting the colors of the product itself. That's pretty much all I can say. Um, so yeah, uh, let's just jump into it. Haha. <laughs> Oh, my favorite, lots of, lots of plastic, but I do, I, this is gonna sound really weird and really sad probably, but I, I, I do really like this kind of packaging. I don't know, it's, it's satisfying. I feel it. More plastic inside the plastic, that is entirely useless and just, no. That's it. Oh my goodness, I've not seen these cables in maybe 10 years. A little throwback right there. And, whoa, hello. Cool, cardboard, great. Cool, plastic, not great. The most exciting part of any unboxing is the cables. <laughs> that was a very quick unboxing, so let's have a look at the scores. Too much plastic, not enough design. Although it is fairly unique, but again, it's just nothing special whatsoever. What you see is what you get, and it is what it is, and all that. It's just very simple. And there's nothing inherently wrong with that, but it's just not very exciting, is it? By the looks of it, I thought it was from somewhere by the likes of Teemu. I've done a video about Teemu in the past, you can have a look at that right there. Simply because of just how plasticky it is. It's a, it's a, it's an okay weight. Buttons on the top are not too bad, to be honest. Takes a little micro SD on the, oh, that's, that's interesting, actually. Instead of solely relying on video input, you can, I assume, put micro SD in there and then just play off of that. Got USB 2.0 and a lot of other not very interesting things. I assume that's a little focus. Yeah. Yeah. However, this is only part one of this unboxing. Apparently, there's something that Robin has also ordered, which can complement it. And again, I don't know what this one is. Whatever it is, it's 100 inches. I'm going to assume that this is a projector screen to complement the projector. It appears I would be right. And alongside that, I love hooks and rope and a screen. Okay. Uh, unboxing, I'm not gonna give a score for that, it's a bag, it's not an unboxing. I feel like I'm making a huge mistake opening it here. It's a screen. We're gonna try and hang this up somewhere and uh, hopefully it goes well. <sighs> okay, backdrop is sort of up. Yeah, we did the best we could with the space we had. So, projector, I've got a laptop here, HDMI cable. Do you have an HDMI? Yeah, you do. I would start that again. Why? I would power it on first to see if it actually turns on. That's a good shout. <laughs> but before we do that, I should probably make sure this thing actually works. Let's just... Is that the on button? You know what would really help is if I plug this in. Fortunately, they provide power. Hey, we have a light. If I hold that, okay, it looks like that's an on-off animation. No, that's on now. We have life and light. Is that showing up? Yeah, look at that, showing up. Something. Yeah, I forgot to review this uh, remote control as well. It's a terrible bag. Wow. Um, very light, very cheap. And there's no batteries, but there's buttons on top, so we can just use that. I keep saying we, I mean, it's me. So I can just do that. And lights off. So we're gonna change this little focus ring. Until it comes vaguely into focus. That's tiny. What's happening? Where is it going? <laughs> this is about to fall. <laughs> um, yeah, no, 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 no. Need a 
I kind of ramble on here about one specific point, and that's the font you see on screen is just the classic Chinese font, common on a lot of usually cheap Chinese products. So this is 100% from the country. Also, sorry for that giant wire in the middle of the screen because that is not going away. Okay, so now I have to awkwardly navigate this menu upside down. I'm coming around. Okay, English. Yes, I am English. Well, Scottish. Movie, photo, music, text. Text. What? Input source. Okay, we have no movies because we have no nothing on an SD card, no music, so... Next best thing is HDMI into the laptop. Hey, would you look at that? It's the unboxing channel. This is the magnificent unboxing channel video. If you haven't seen that, then go ahead and watch it. The link will be somewhere up ahead. That's kind of disgusting quality. I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, the fan is too loud for a decent in-person review, so back to voiceover. The projector seems to be doing some nasty over-sharpening with some kind of outline artifacts common with cheaper brand displays. My t-shirt, for example, here isn't that speckled. In fact, here's what it actually looks like. So, some strange contrast effect going on. How about something a bit more aesthetically pleasing, like wild birds in 8K? Okay, so for any new display I try out, I open up some super crisp 8K HDR demo and see how it fares. Of course, in this case, it's like racing a tractor around an F1 circuit, because this projector most definitely is not 8K. But 4K. It's certainly not 4K, and moreover, it's not even 1080p. This runs at a solid 720p, and even then it's pushing it. Colors are washed out, but, well, they do the job, you can see what's happening. The birds, they're just, they're just having a good drink though, yeah. This isn't horrific to look at, but it's not going to be winning any awards. As for the speakers... It just sounds like it's in a box. In a plastic box, which it is. But... Mm. You might also notice that I'm having to speak loudly not just because of the music, but because of the loud fans in there. Why you would want a speaker right next to loud fans in a product like this? I'm not entirely sure, but if you're sensible, then hook up whatever you're hooking up to HDMI and then use something like a Bluetooth speaker to get better audio, or just play it through your laptop speakers, because that's going to sound a lot better than it does on here. It's a banger, though. Oh, well, that was an experience. Yeah, to be honest, it's, it's not an awful product. It's not it's nothing fantastic and it's definitely again getting what you're paying for. But if you're, you know, just a, a teenager, you're in your room, you might avoid your parents because you're too cool for them, and you just want something projected on your screen, you just want your own you know, just personal space or something. This does the trick. The fans are, are a little bit loud, but if you're watching something, you're wearing headphones, then that negates that. I can't say I would properly recommend it. I like good picture quality and I like a good viewing experience um, and this doesn't really offer that. But if you're in a pinch, if you're on a very low budget and you need something, then yeah, sure, go ahead, get it. And to be honest, it looks great as well for what it is. And while the unboxing wasn't the most interesting thing, I do appreciate that they went to the lengths of actually coloring the box, this bright yellow color. You really don't see that very often. They could have easily just made it plain white. And they didn't. They didn't do anything else with the box, but they put in that effort, and I appreciate that. What I don't appreciate is the lack of effort on the battery side. You'd expect some batteries to come with the remote. The remote itself isn't... Actually, I take that back. The remote feels nice. That's... that's... very clicky, and I keep saying nice, but it is... nice. But yeah, that is a projector. One of the projectors of all time. And this was one of the videos of all time. And if you like this video, then go ahead and like if you like it, subscribe if you feel like it. And also, if you liked the blind unboxing nature of this video, then leave a comment telling me so. And Robin here will source something or other, give it to me, and I will unbox it blind once again. And there you go. Once again, like if you like it, subscribe if you feel like it. And I will see you in the next video, whenever that may be.